We've got this horrible wood chip wallpaper. It's very 70s, I think. Okay, progress so far. Look at so her. Lucy's so bored. Fun. Well done. It's starting to look. Well, I was going to say it's starting to look good, but yeah, it's looking terrible, obviously. It's going to take a lot longer than I realised. I thought this would be an hour, two, max. Hello, everyone. It is day one of the plasterers having been here. Got a glass of alcohol. Um, they have left, and really, there's not much difference, but... It's a big job that they've done. They've overboarded the ceiling on this side and this side, and doesn't it look stunning? Yeah. Gorgeous. Um, but the rest of the days, I'm actually leaving the country tomorrow, so I'm not going to be here to show you until they finished it. But they're going to be plastering while skimming the walls and the ceiling over the next two days. So I'll show you when I get back. Right, guys, I can't remember how much I've shown you. I think I did a brief tour of it all being freshly plastered. And uh, today's the day where I'm starting to prep the walls ready for their coats of paint. So I'm doing something called a mist coat, which is white emulsion paint mixed with water. So it's very runny. And that apparently helps to seal the wall before you then apply your actual coats of paint. So I've got some old paint that we used um, upstairs, um, mixed it in with some water. And yeah, this is gonna be so satisfying, turning these walls from like a brown plaster color to white. Although it won't be bright white because it will take a few coats to cover this. But I really like this finish. It's like the effect in my room where I've done a lime wash paint, which is patchy like this. And um, I really like it. Apparently some people leave their, their walls like this, but um, it's not quite for us, but I do really like it. But anyway, Ava, move away from the paint, please. Thank you. and I've managed to do half of the living room I'd say um, so I've managed to do most of this wall around here all along there a tiny bit of the ceiling and a little bit along here so there's still a bit left to do but I've run out of paint so I've used up actually there's still one like tiny little bit of white emulsion in another pot but I've got lots to crack on with today it's 12 noon and there's lots of other things to do so yeah I've done all of that um, and we'll have to come back to it another day. But yeah, get in there, slowly, slowly. So I haven't really been updating you along the way because we have just been painting and it's just been very dull. Um, however, we have done our first coat. We went to B&Q this morning, we spent a lot of money on lots of different things, but including paint, and we decided on our color for the living room, and it's had a first coat. So as you can see here, this is the archway, and the dining room's gonna be white, and then it's nice and grey in here. It looks so good. We love it. Don't we? We love it. We also got this new <gasps> That is so <laughs> good. It looks horrible, but it, it is really good. Where's the... This is the box. Yeah. So it's like that. Um, it's got a glass bowl on it. It's got a little shelf, and you attach it to the wall. Because we don't have a lot of... Whoa! Well, we don't have a lot of space in here. So um, it's probably gonna go on this wall in here. Yeah. And then it means that we're not having to, the sofa can still be right up against the wall. And we can put our drinks on it. That's gonna be so good. Gorgy. Love it. Right, here we go. So the weekend has been and gone. Um, it is Tuesday and the living room is completely finished in terms of paint. And you know what, we really like it. So we actually got two paint samples from Farrow and Ball. One was called Elephant's Breath and one was called Skimming Stone. And we had them on our walls for a while and we thought, you know what, I think um, the light one is too light and the dark one's too dark, so let's get something in between. So we went and took a risk, found a completely different color that looked fairly similar, got it home and oh my gosh, it was so much darker than what we'd expected. However, now it's on the walls, we absolutely love it. I think the reason 
we like it as well is because it goes with the white trim of everything really well and I particularly love the fireplace with that colour on the wall. This colour is called Sunlit Pebble and it's by Valspar if anyone's interested. But now that the living room is finished we have some more work to do. Um, so obviously we want to get rid, I think we might keep this sofa, but we want to get rid of this and maybe get a light grey sofa maybe, not sure. Obviously we bought a curtain rail which is over here and that's ready to go um, but we need to get some curtains and hang those up and we're thinking nice plain light coloured curtains oh it's getting quite dark the next expensive job is to get a carpenter to fit a cupboard and shelves so a bit like this but coming out a bit further because as you can see this one has you know it's quite narrow that in there is our uh, electricity meter so we need it to be cupboards I think it will be Probably a similar design, but just maybe something a bit more, well, new, but hopefully a bit more traditional vibes. Um, yeah, so it'll be a cupboard. We're thinking of having a log storage there for our fire. And then shelves, 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 all the way up there. Similar over here, we want to mount the TV into the wall there and maybe have a couple of shelves. And Ava's bed, is that won't be there, so Ava's bed will be shoved in there. You might be asking... Why aren't you going to put the TV on the chimney breast? Well, because this is a real fire um, and we've heard that you can't really drill TVs into a real chimney breast because it will overheat and the TV might die. So yeah, it's going to be asymmetric, which is fine. I would prefer for it to go there, but it's, it's fine. We can't do that and I want to keep the real fire. Also, I think I've told you I would like to rip off this fire surround, which is made of wood. Um, it was obviously custom made and it's not a period feature, so I'm happy to rip that out <laughs> and get maybe like a nice stone one. Um, but it's very specific dimensions, so I don't know if that's possible. Also, one thing that's annoying me is this wire. So I believe that this is the phone line. As you can see, it was sort of wallpapered into the crack there and we've pulled it out and we've just left it for the moment. And I just want to know, can I snip it? Can I get that ripped out? I don't know. We also bought this lamp for the corner. Obviously, we're short of space. It's a very small terraced house. Um, so we didn't, we wanted a lamp here, but we don't have the room to move the sofa this way. So this was a really good solution of having it um, sort of on the wall. So it's drilled into the wall. This gives you a nice little thing to put any drinks on, or we could put a plant that hangs down. I quite like the idea of having a plant that hangs down to hide that wire, because I hate wires. <laughs> uh, but Lucy would quite like it to put drinks on and stuff, which makes sense, because here you've got the shoe rack to put your drinks on, but there you don't have anything. In terms of the dining room, it's had one coat of paint. As you can see, it's still very patchy. Um, so the dining room will be done another weekend. Our cupboards got absolutely ruined during the redecorating process, so they need paint again I need to sand down all of this um, and then repaint it so we bought another tin of paint of this color which is called dinner jacket at ah, Ava do you like it yeah <laughs> but yeah that's the update on this room so yeah I guess I will I might post this video I don't know because I feel like I, I divided it into two parts however I feel like this second part is way shorter or I might hold on to the footage until I've done the dining room. It's getting there, it's very slow progress, but you know what, we're not in a rush and we don't have unlimited funds. I think if we'd had like a spare 20,000 pounds, 30,000 pounds, you know, just sat there in the bank, then we'd be like, yeah, let's just do everything all at once, but we're not in that position. So this is us doing a renovation on a budget as and when money comes in. So yes. That is why it's slow in case, I know some people are like, why Why aren't you just doing it all straight away? Well, we're not minted. So, I mean, we spent all of our money on the house. Um, we've got friends that have bought somewhere and they went way under budget. Now they have loads of money to spend on doing it up. We did it the other way around where we stretched ourselves and spent all the money on buying a house instead of a flat, essentially, um, which was our other option. Uh, but now it means we have no money left to actually do the house. Well, we do, but very slowly. So that's why we've taken our time.